hello 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 welcome and welcome back to the channel so i because i don't follow vespa i and i don't really know what's going on with them i didn't really know that uh their last song was supernova i didn't know that that was just a um a pre-release i guess uh so today actually they dropped the they dropped the official i guess title track for their album which i guess is a full-length album i know this is weird for especially for a big group to just randomly show up at the latest material um but i just figured i like supernova they have another song same album why not um so i'm just gonna check that out too um yeah i'm gonna just watch it once um because i didn't plan for this reaction so i don't have a ton of time so i'm gonna try and watch and watch it once and not pause too much i understand that they have a lot of lore and stuff like that so i know that there are, are things going over my head left and right that's totally fine i'm mostly just here for the song itself i'm just i'm curious i like the last song i didn't like i said i had checked out some other songs i didn't really know how i felt about those but all i know is i liked supernova and, and i was i was curious i checked it out i liked it so of course i want to see if i like this as well um yeah but if you like this video please do like comment and subscribe um and i do have a discord feel free to join that so I'm, i've got my things out of the way and i'm just going to go ahead and check it out one second okay let's go Oh, so winter. I guess I'll winter covering some snow. Ooh, okay. Already, yes. <laughs> okay, more of a hip hop sound. Not bad. I wasn't expecting where that beat was going. But okay, I'm back in it. There's <laughs> so much going on with the instrumentation. But the beat remains consistent. Love her voice, but I already knew that. All those keys are here's some keys. I love that drum line type of drum. So I'll try not to pause, but I just want to, uh, well, hold on. I do like the, um, I'm going way back because I, um, I'm worried it's going to buffer and stuff, but <laughs> I do like the, they took Armageddon and then they made a whole, I can't not, being in the middle of the song, trying to comment on the song is always tricky. But I, I can't tell, I can't remember if it's like, it's in the chorus, but they say Armageddon, Armageddon, and they say, I'm gonna get it done. I think that's really cool. And I always think it's really cool when people do that with like an English word and just taking the 
the rhyming, sort of the rhyming sequence of that and making it feel like a play on words. But it's, I don't think that's technically what it is. Um, or maybe it is, but um, that's real. I always think stuff like that is really clever. It's like um, if you <laughs> if you uh, recall a Britney Spears song called "If You Seek Amy," which was "If You Seek Amy," you know. Uh, so it kind of reminded me of that. That's always very clever. So I enjoy that. <laughs> and while I'm here, while I have it paused. Generally speaking, I'm loving the song. It takes some, you know, typical for SM, it takes some turns that you don't expect. And it, that is like a hit or miss for me with the, with the with songs. But SM in particular has this ability of doing it in a way that doesn't feel jarring and that you don't, that doesn't immediately take you out of the song. So I actually, I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting this. But then once it sank in, I was like, okay, we're here now. I, okay, I like that. I'm digging that. Um, and that's why I, uh, like, especially with groups like Red Velvet, let me say for one, um, every time I listen to a Red Velvet title track, I just, I never judge it. I never say whether I like it or not the first time because I, because it takes, so, because it goes somewhere you don't expect it to go, I think it skews your judgment of it. Like, I think that a lot of times people just say, I don't like it because they had a certain expectation of the sound and it was different, not bad or good, it just was different. And so they immediately, immediately don't like it because it wasn't what they thought they were going to get. So usually I will say, I always do listen to um, Red Velvet Tiger Tracks in particular. Um, and I just mentioned them since they're the most recent SM Girl group uh, before um, ESPA. Uh, so yeah, I always listen to their title track. If I think I don't like it, I'm like, you know, let me hold, hold let me hold on. <laughs> because they, they always take those swings, you know, SM always takes those swings. But I don't think it takes me, I think I was able to adjust immediately. So I think I can safely say that I do like it, even though I thought it was going in a different place at some point in the song. A little South Asian little inspiration. <laughs> that B is so consistent. It's really ground in the track. I love that note. I want to go back. I won't do it. Okay, I'm loving it. I guess I'm just seeing this a lot more. I just don't recall seeing this so much before. I just pointed it out with the uh, with Sujin's um Come Back in V with Mona Lisa. How at the end you could see all of the credits and stuff like that. Maybe that's just a new thing in K-pop. I just don't because I just don't recall ever seeing that before, uh, at the end of a music video. But considering all of the stuff that they're putting into these, the, the amount of production that goes into these MVs these days, I can see why it takes so many people to pull it together, both the song itself and then also just the MV. So I'm glad that they're posting up these credits like it's a movie. Um, yeah, that was really fun. I love that one as well. I think I may have liked Supernova a little bit more, but I like this one as well. I think maybe Supernova had less, like I said, swings in terms of the instrumentation um but this was more fun than supernova which is interesting but i did like this uh so much um I, i'm pretty sure i will listen to this in fact i probably sh i should put it on my uh spotify I like it on spotify so i don't forget about it because i did love this i did have a lot of fun with it um i think that it's i i like that it was like uh 
the the consistent sound was this really good hip hop beat and then the vocals were at points pretty solidly i would say r&b type vocals but it did have these sort of parts where it, it, it disconnected from that and they were doing something different um but still again managing to take you on a journey through consistent drum patterns um so i really like that in the production and the vocals of course i mean it's sm i don't expect anything less than excellent vocals um so that was always said that was satisfying as it always is from sm artists uh so far i mean that's two for two for me just in terms of my reactions for espa uh i can't make any promises about like any kind of a deep dive or when i'm gonna try to listen to more but I will say they're definitely on my radar now because I've loved Supernova and I loved Armageddon. That was just so fun. And there in particular though, the vocal arrangement is what I think. I think this wins for the vocal arrangement. And then I think for me, the instrumentation one for Supernova. So that's how I guess I would judge the two songs together or how, like how I feel about those songs. Um, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, Espa. All right, I may have been. I may. Have, I'm going to have to revisit the, some of those other songs, those earlier title tracks, uh, at a later date. But yeah, two for two for me. I had a lot of fun. So at least I know, um, in terms of the uh, title tracks for this album, I, at least I can say that this this is a win for me. So definitely one day I, in the future, at the very least, I do want to hear the rest of this album, for sure. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Be happy, be healthy, and have a good day. Bye.